This is Valley News Live at 6. There's some magic in taking a dog that's homeless, that needs a second chance, giving them that second chance, and we're letting the dogs and the vets rescue each other. Rescue dogs are saving veterans in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. The nonprofit Patriot Assistance Dogs gives canines to veterans who have emotional wounds from serving our country. Thanks for joining us on this Veterans Day tonight. The dogs are rescued and trained here in the Valley. It takes months of preparation so they can pass their service test. It costs about $10,000 per dog at no cost to the veterans. Now the veterans apply for a dog and once accepted, they come spend a week in Detroit Lakes learning about their service dog, trained to help with nightmares, panic attacks, or social anxiety. In a Valley News Live exclusive, Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop shows us how these service dogs are changing the lives of our service members in just a matter of 48 hours. Serving is what set right with me. I'm, I'm not a receiver, I'm a giver. This is veteran Unique Long and Bobby Ann. Long served in the Army for five years. She never served in combat but was assaulted while serving. Long says she left the service different than when she entered. I had an enormous cement block on my shoulder. A chip on my shoulder. She suffers from PTSD and traveled halfway across the country to try to find help. In the week with Patriot Assistant Dogs, she was matched up with a few different dogs before finding Bobby Ann. I know she'll be able to wake me from nightmares and night terrors and and those kind of things. And but I think more so anything, it's the companionship of knowing that I have a battle buddy again, that I, somebody that I can fully trust. Somebody to watch my back and somebody to guard me. When Long starts having an anxiety, Bobby Ann jumps up on her and kisses her to keep her calm. For about seven years, I pretty much stayed indoors all the time. I did everything online, grocery shopping, bill paying. Anya Sarah of Grand Forks served as a biochemical war specialist and has PTSD and severe depression. Kane came into her life over a year ago, and in that time, things have changed. She now has a job. And can leave her house. And it's actually been really liberating. During our interview, Kane was whining. Sarah says he was doing his job and trying to distract her because her anxiety was rising. Good boy. Good cuddle. Your dog, they're never going to judge you. You can cry, you can scream, you can yell, and your dog is always going to be there for you. As for Long, in just the two days with Bobby Ann, she was able to go out to the store during the day and complete a shopping trip. I wouldn't say there's such a thing as normal in this world anymore, but as, as humanly possible, trying to get back to my everyday abilities and capabilities, um, I'm definitely excited about that. In Detroit Lakes, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. Now, people from seven different states have found service dogs through Patriot Assistance Dogs. If you're interested in helping for or applying for a service dog from this organization, click on this story on valleynewslive.com.